Hey guys, what's up? Meta Burns, and today we're opening a Meta Zoo Nightfall First Edition Spellbook. I'm super stoked to open this, guys. This set, to be honest, these prices for these spellbooks are pretty good. I think they're around 35 to 40 ish bucks for these. Not bad at all for what you get inside, guys. You get 10 booster packs, of course, of Nightfall. You get the sealed holographic promo card, a metallic coin, a rule book, the, the sleeves, a token sheet, and the aura deck. I am super stoked, guys. I don't have much of Nightfall, so I'm super stoked to see that some of the prices of these products like this are going down so I can add some of this set to my collection and hunt for some of those rare cards in here like Mothman and Injured Cold, of course. To be honest though, all of that Green Man hype makes me want to just open more and more Wilderness, to be honest. So expect more of that in the future, guys. But while Nightfall is still at a low cost at the moment, I do want to buy more of it because I want to add that in my collection, of course, to play with. I do want to build some decks. And guys, this spellbook here on the side, I noticed that is so cool. All of the blood marks there on the side of the spellbook. Super dope. MetaZoo has such an awesome way of designing products, making them so much fun to open. So let's just crack that seal right there. Void. And let's see what we get inside here, guys. I love these designs here. It's like a little, little booster box. So there, of course, we get a play map there. I think it's got a cryptid map on the back as well, which is actually pretty neat. So really cool to check that out. There is the Nightfall promo, guys. That promo is so sweet. It's my first one in my collection. My first time opening one of these spell books. All BC attacks from the Menezu Nightfall set deal plus 25 damage this turn. And it's considered night this turn. That is so cool. That artwork there, guys. Just amazing. Love to see that. There's our aura brick. Don't think there's anything really super hot in these. So I'm going to set that aside and I'll crack that open and just add that to my collection at some point. There is the sleeves. Just some basic sleeves, of course. I'm not going to use these, but as I always say, I love collecting sleeves. So that'll be added to my collection as well. There is a Nightfall rule book there. And of course, the meat of it all, guys. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten packs of Nightfall. And there is that. Oh, there's our coin down there too. Whoa, the black coin is sweet. I love how I have so many colors of coins. I just have, I have, I mean, so many that every product seems to have something like very different. All the theme decks and all the spell books, of course. And this is just a black Nightfall coin there with the emblem there, and then of course Metazoo on the back. That is super sweet. And then at the end here, guys, we just have all of those aura tokens there. Nothing at the bottom there. Let's crack open these 10 packs and see what we get. So yeah, as I said, guys, I don't have much Nightfall in my collection. So I'm very stoked just to see what I can pull, what full hollows I can pull. I think it's four to the front in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay, cool. So Boil Over is our first card we're seeing in the set. Shadow Token, Ground, Cosmic Aura, a Black-Eyed Children, a Luffer Lang, a Poltergeist, Mermaid Shimmer, Boost Aura, Headless Nun, uh, Dispel Evil, and we're going to start things off with a Reverse Hollow Nappa Rebobs. That is awesome. Love to see that. It's a very popular card right now. Very happy to have one of those in my collection there in Reverse Hollow. That's not a bad way to start that episode, I would say. Bad way to start these 10 packs here. One, two, three, and four to the front. Let's see what else we can pull, though, in this set. We got a Bell Witch, Nameless Token, Suburban. I love the artwork on that card. It's super cool. A Lightning Aura, Aura Prowess, Ludwig. Static Wand, Mermaids, Mermaid Shimmer, Feign Death, Torrential River, nice. Dampen, it's a very good card as well. And a Reverse Hollow, Murphy's Boro Mud Monster there in our second pack. Let's keep things going here, guys. See if we can find a Mothman. One, two, three, and four to the front like that. Or a Wendigo. Wendigo is also one of the hot cards in this set. Totally forgot about him. Nameless Token, Daytime. Again, with some great artwork there. Earth Aura, Axe Handle Hound, that's interesting. Ludwig, Frostbite. Uh, tea Kettler, a Bursting Spiderlings, Caster Center MD. That's a, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty cool card. I like the artwork there. That's interesting. Dispel Evil and a Reverse Hollow, the Columbia River Sand Squonk. Or Squink, not Squonk. Whatever. <laughs> I keep seeing that Reverse Hollow, I think, in the, in the few uh, Nightfall packs I have opened. Oh, nice. We got a uh, non-hollow Mothman. I'll take it, though. The artwork there is really great. And the non-hollows, you can really appreciate just the, art, the, the base artwork there. Really cool. Of course, the hollows are gorgeous, and I do want the hollow. Raining, Water Aura, Arkansas Snipe, Lantax, Possession, Tribe to Raid, Bubbling Brew, Simultaneous Bioluminescence. I really like the art on that card a lot. I know I say all the time. Nightshade, and we got a Reverse Hollow, the Werewolf of Defiance. Very cool. I haven't seen that guy yet. He got blood in his hands. They're looking pretty creepy. Keep it going, guys. No full hollows so far, unfortunately. One, two, three, and four. But it's all right. Maybe all the heat is saving saving up there at the end. We got Permafrost, Zombie Token, Suburban, Water Aura, Beastie of, Bled and Boro, Land Tax, Possession, the, the Bandage Man of Cannon Beach, super creepy, 
Bursting Spiderlings, uh, Copy Cup, Destroy Terra, and a Reverse Hollow Obsidian Obelisk. Useful card, but unfortunately, guys, we are not getting any hollows. We have one, two, three, four, and five packs left. That's all right. Got half of it to go. We could, maybe it's half duds and half full hollows. We'll see. <laughs> four to the front. We got another Mothman. Guys, let's see if we can fill that prophecy. Winter, Light Aura. I mean, come on. They're just handing me all of these, these other Mothmen. And they're not going to hand me a hollow. Don't tease me that way. Ca Caster Center, Unlucky Potion, and a Reverse Hollow, Tehehan, I think that's pronounced. Very interesting looking, looking little fellow there. And very interesting name as well. All right, let's keep this going, guys. One, two, three, four to the front like that. We got Born from the Earth, Dynamite Token, Ground, Cosmic Aura, Absorb Aura, Water to Wine, Sam's Holy Water, Trinity Amulet, a Boogeyman, a Torrential River, a Dampen at the end, a Reverse Hollow, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, guys, we only have three packs left and no full hollows. Oh no, the Spellbook's not doing me great. Thankfully, though, most of my Spellbook, though, at this point, has been pretty lucky, so I'm not upset. It's okay, it happens once in a while. It is what it is. Again, more cards add to my collection to play with more than anything. Arkansas Snipe, the crazy critter of Bald Mountain. I, I keep saying it, but I love artwork. This has some great art. Bloodlust, bio, a, a simultaneous bioluminescence, Robert the Doll. I actually have seen him in real life before. And then we got, oh, nice, a reverse hollow, Wood Devil of Coos Country. Would love a full hollow of him. But hey, that reverse hollow is pretty sweet as well. And guys, we got two packs left here. Let's see what we can get in these last two packs. We're saving just all the heat for the end. Four to the front, just like that. We got Nameless Token, Full Moon, Ground, Flame Aura, Arkansas Snipe, a Napa Rebobs, Pyre, Halloween Ghost Sheet, Bursting Spiderlings, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia, Destroy Terra, a Reverse Hollow Grim Reaper, and oh, I must have done it wrong there, but a Reverse Hollow Grim Reaper and the Wood Devil of Coos Country. I mean, we got some pretty good Reverse Hollows in this uh, box, though, to be honest. But I do have one pack left here, guys. One pack left at Nightfall. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's see what we can get. Potion Seller, a Stained Glass Token, Raining, Water Aura, Destroy Aura, Lantax, Smoky Spirits, Tea Kettle Bane Death, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia, a Dispel Evil at the end. We got another Reverse Hollow, guys. A Reverse Hollow Axe Handle Hound. Unfortunately, guys, this box was full of Reverse Hollows, although there were some pretty cool ones in there. Unfortunately, uh, the Wood Devil of Coos Country is cool. Uh, the Grim Reaper is very cool, of course. I do like the Obsidian Obelisk as well. And, of course, the Dapa Rebobs there is very cool. So we got some pretty good Reverse Hollows, at least, in that box. Hopefully, guys, I'm saving my luck there for UFO. Thanks so much for watching, though. Subscribe for more MetaZoo content. I'll see you in the next video, and have a good one.